Hello there, I'm Eric. Welcome to The Shed in this video about updates to Adobe Express mid-2023. We'll be looking at creating a brand. Now, this is perhaps one of the shortest of this series, but could be the most important to you because it's going to shorten your workflow. Let's jump into Adobe Express and see what's what. So here I am in Adobe Express, and I'm going to just quickly start from anything. Let's go for the first one here, an Instagram square. It doesn't have to be that, of course. Now, if you've been watching any of the other videos in this series, you'll see that if I go over to your stuff, you will have seen that I've got brands and libraries here. Now, I've already done an extensive video on libraries, but the difference here is that you can make a library a brand. So I could always go down to Adobe here and just choose to make that a brand, set as brand. There we go. I don't want it as a brand, but I could. Now, during this series, I've been using Snot Real Business as a brand to demonstrate some of the advantages of using Adobe Express. Now, let's see how we can make a brand from scratch inside Adobe Express, shall we? I'm going to go back and I'm going to say create a new brand. I could also create a new library, but let's create a brand. It's not real. Okay, and I'm going to create. Now, there's a few ways that we can add assets to our brand. The first one, well, if we click on logos here, we've got a plus, and I can go and get a logo from my hard drive. In this case, you see I've got logos in my Snot Real folder. Oh, look, there's some tips draw ones as well. But I've got some uh, Snot Real ones, so I can add that one, click open, and sure enough, in it comes. Might take a second or two, depending on where it's coming from and your internet connection and all that kind of stuff. And then right away, I can start using that asset as much as I like. The next is to add items to the brand from the asset that you're making. For example, let's get an element here and I'm going to make a very quick shape. Let's create a circle. There we go. And let's make that a color. Let's go into the blues. There we go. Good. All right. Now in my stuff and in my snot reel, I can now add a color. I could add the color using the hex code, but I can also use the color picker here to add the color there. Good. Off it goes. Now I could also take a color from the logo that I bought in. So let's do that. Let's click on this and then go into the green there. And now we've got our green. That might be the green is our primary and the purpley blue is our secondary color. We can label that up if we wanted to. So let's do that. Uh, editing tag, that's the primary. So this one then, edit tag, secondary. Now we've got the colors. Next, we want the fonts. We can quickly add a font in there. We've been using Alphan regular throughout this series. So I can do that here as well. And there we go. There's our font. Graphics, much the same as logos, in that we can then go over to the hard drive. I can go to creating a brand and let's take one of the taste and nectar here. Okay, that one there, open. And then, sure enough, in it comes. And straight away, I can start using that asset as well. And you can see that very quickly, we can start adding things into it's not real as a brand. As an example, let's go back and let's go into another brand, which of course is tipsquirrel.com. We have colors from the logo. We have backgrounds. We have pointy hands that I like to use. We have my uh, signature there. All kinds of stuff that I've collected over the years that uh, I've now put into this brand. And I actually bought that in from libraries. So I had a library that it was Tip Squirrel and I bought that straight in. So there we go. Creating a brand is incredibly easy. All you've got to do is just drop things in. Libraries, maybe a little bit more in depth, but like I say, there is a video on my YouTube channel all about libraries and how you can use them across the Creative Cloud. But of course, you can now use them inside Adobe Express. My name's Eric. 
Thank you very much for joining me. If you are using Adobe Express, don't forget to let me know what you're doing. I'd love to see it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.